Liverpool have that night in Istanbul and Slough have that day at Dorking. This is me, Slough Town Vlogs, explaining what actually happened at Dorking Wanderers v Slough Town, the eight goal thriller. Five minutes before kickoff and the Rebels were singing. They were chanting, everywhere we go, an amber submarine, an amber submarine. And also, I would walk 500 miles. C great songs that the Slough fans sing, but... Here's a video of the Slough fans in action before kickoff. I know, the Slough fans were great, right? Well, it was all going well until the 12th minute and then Barham for Dorking Wanderers put it in and it went 1-0 to Dorking. The Rebels bounced back with that goal, singing his name loud and proud, Robo, Robo, as Dan Roberts puts it in and it makes it 1-0, a very exciting game here at Meadowbank. It was all going well for the Rebels until... Miet put it in for Dorking Wanderers to make it 2-1. And the thing that was going to unfold next is going to be crazy. So, pretty much, on the terraces, something happened between a Slough fan and Dorking youth. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. But there's nothing more from the half to talk about. So, we're going to leave it at that. There's something happened. And security got involved. And that's all I'm going to say. There's no need to go into more detail about it. It was 2-1 at half-time, so the team talks must have done something as Dan Roberts puts it in on the 49th minute to make his second goal of the game. He's so close to his first hat-trick in the Vanarama National League South. Will he get it? It was 2 all, and the Rebel fans were loving it. And to top it all off, Dan Roberts gets his hat-trick, his first ever one in the Vanarama National League South. He scores it in the 66th minute, and what an achievement for Dan Roberts at such a young age in his career. Well done, Robbo. And all the Slough fans were singing, Robbo, Robbo. It was 3-2 to the Rebels with Robbo's getting his hat-trick. So the atmosphere was electric, saying, Everywhere we go, with the Slough Town boys making all their noise, everywhere we go. But then Pryor for Dorkin puts it in on the 71st minute to make it thrill. This game's already got six goals. Is there anything else? There sure is, definitely. In the 78th minute, Warren Harris gets a goal. He should have scored in the first half, but misses slightly. And then he finally gets his goal. It's Warren Harris and the Slough fans were singing, Warren Harris, da 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 da, Warren Harris. With about 10 minutes to go. Oh, what a game we had on our hands. The Rebels were loving it, singing all their chants, Amber Submarine, and Amber Submarine, da da da. Yeah, I'm not going to sing the old chant or else it'll take up the old video. But then, yeah, you've heard it right. You saw it in the vlog. I filmed his goal. It's Belarus, Belarus, Belarus. He scores in the 83rd minute and it makes it 5-3. It's an eight-goal thriller. And there the final whistle was. The referee blew the whistle for the final time and it finished 5-3 to Slough. Um, Dan Roberts with his hat-trick, Warren Harris and Ben Harris both with a goal each to their name. Um, I'm just going to touch on one subject just really quickly. The Paul Hodges red card. I don't think it's a red card. That's my opinion. Um, I, he wasn't last man, so I think it's a foul. I think it's a yellow card, but I, f I hope Slough have appealed that. So, yeah, I've got some photos to put on the end from the game. So, yep. Yeah. Thank you for watching, thank you for taking up your time, and I've been Slough Town Vlogs, Matt Roscoe, and goodbye.